Hi everyone, it's Susan and I'm excited to be taking part in my first ever video hop. I'm sharing a project featuring some of the products from Catherine Pooler Design's newest release. I'll be using the Wild About You stamps and dies, the Hey Mister stamp set, the Wood Slice die, and the Lumberjack pattern paper. This is a longer video, but it's a super fun project. So let's get started. I wanted to share a tip on how to use the dies with the trees from the Wild About You stamp set. Stamp the trees first. Don't stamp the trunk, just do the trees. Then grab the dies and cut them out with your die cutting machine. Once you've done that, then go back and stamp the trunks. It's much easier to line them up this way than it is to stamp the tree and the trunks and then die cut. Ask me how I know that one. You're gonna need a few pieces of paper to make this card. To start with, you need a one piece, which will be your card base, four and a quarter by 11 inches. You score it at five and a half inches, your, your standard card base. And then inside you need a piece that's four by 10 and three quarter inches, scored at five and three eighths inches. Then you need two pieces, okay, three and a half inches, by eight inches and if you score it it just makes it easier to fold score at one and three quarter inches along here and four inches this way this one is three and a half inches by nine and a half inches and you score it at two and three eighths four and a quarter and seven and eighth inches then inside, for some decorating, choose whatever papers you like. Three and three eighths inches by three and three quarter inches. Two of those. And four pieces at two and a quarter inch by three and three eighths inch. Okay, so to put this together, start with this piece. Oh, and a bone folder or a ruler, something with a good edge on it so you can make crisp folds. Okay, so this piece that is three and a half by eight, fold it long, or I guess that's hot dog ways, hot dog style, um, and that would be one and three quarter inch, and then fold it here, hamburger style, at four inches. Okay, so then you're going to keep it folded this way and you're going to bring in one side right to the center line and then give it a good crease. Do the same thing with the other side. I'm right-handed, it's easier if I do it this way. Right to the center and give it a good fold. Good press. Okay, so from here Open it back up part way. Keep a hold on the center. Open this up and push it in. Okay, same thing on the other side. Open it up a little bit. Hold the center. Push in. And then give this a good fold or a good press. This one, basically, just fold, fold again, and fold back. What's that, mountain fold? So you have that. Okay, so on the piece that is, what did I say, four by 10 and three quarters, it's scored at five and three eighths down the center here. And then on this center line, Find the middle, it's two inches. Just draw a straight little line because that's where you're going to line everything up. Okay, so strong adhesive is what you're gonna need. I just have a tape runner. If you have something stronger than that, I would recommend it. You're gonna add adhesive here. And then line up, I'm forgetting something. Oops, this. 
these two pieces that were three and three eighths by three and three quarters. This isn't necessary, it's just, I think it will look nice. It's gonna go on the inside here. Then here. Okay, and now this piece, this center line that where the fold is, line it up to that line there. Push it down. Add adhesive to this side now. I'm adding a lot, it might be overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then I just fold it over, it's easier that way. Give it a good press. Make sure that all sticks down. Okay, so this piece here, we're gonna add this now. This set fold line and that fold line, line them up. Fold this piece back and then just draw a line here, down to the fold line. There's that line there. Do the same thing here on the bottom. And then you've got that fold line there. That is where you're gonna add adhesive, those two spots. But, okay. So center, line it up. Okay, now you've got your four pieces that are two and a quarter by three and three eighths. They're cut so that you've got a little, um, little white frame around each one. Oops. easy if you have a paper pack like this one from Catherine Pooler if you have a paper pack it makes picking papers that go together really easy because everything in the pack is designed to go together so there's no thinking about it it's just just pick the ones you like and put them together all right then we're going to add this to the inside of the card come on adhesive don't quit now okay Going to, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too fast for you. Now watch. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? No, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so for this part here, opening up I think is going to be the easiest way to decorate it. I've got a couple more pieces of paper from that same pack. And this piece of log, wood log, is from this die. Now, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll look, I'll list it in the supplies. Uh, this is on Sand Dunes cardstock. And then I ran it through the die cutting machine and then icing on the cake, sponged it on there to give it a darker look to it. Okay, and some more trees. This is the wood grain stamp, background stamp from Catherine Pooler. It just looks like this, it's been well used. I love that one. Okay, so we're just gonna build this up now. Let's see, um, how am I gonna do this? Let's try. This is where you just play, layer things up, play for a bit. You'll find something you like. Sometimes you get it right off the bat. Sometimes you gotta try a few different ones. Let's see. Took a darker one in the back there. Something like that. I'm liking that. Okay, so let's start sticking this down. Let's just go with it. Sometimes I think it's best just to not think about it too much, just 
do it. And this one we'll put down next because it's bigger with that. I want to put this next though because I want this other piece to come. Actually, I want to hook this onto this. Hold that in place. And then I don't have to worry about putting any little bits of glue around there because it'll be easier to do this way. Ah, I like that. And I'm going to tuck this guy. This can hold that piece down. Yeah, and then it can hold that one down up there. Let's do that. Okay. Let's try some trees. I want the dark one in the back so it looks like it's farthest away. Let's do another one. I did a whole bunch of trees before we started. I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing, so let's do another one here. And what if I should pop that up? I'm going to pop that one up. Put a little bit of craft foam on the back. Okay. And let's stick. Yeah, I like that popped up. So then I did a hay mister. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so that's the front. So inside, I kind of had this thought. I've got a deer. What's that? Wolf howling at the moon, a bear. Brother. Okay, you are the best brother ever. But I think I need more trees in there. Put a tree in here. I don't want to add too much, too many layers to it because I don't know how well it will close. That's the thing, I haven't tried that part out yet. What if I put a tree in behind here? At all. And then put two. Do I want one on every one? Is that going to look weird? That looks weird. We're not doing that. We could also use up our scraps from the pack of paper. Two by two. Let's go with the square. Put him on there. Okay, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. When I think about it, it takes me forever. So I'm just going to put him on there. Put there. Do I want a tree? I'm not going to put a tree. Not on that one. Okay, so that's that one. And I like this just simple like that. So I'm just going to do one tree there. Yeah, just do one tree. And then brother. Let's go. Let's go this way. I think I want two little trees in the back here. I like that. And another one. I don't know. To me, it's like this. Uh, is it a wolf? A coyote? Who howls? I can't remember right now. It's like he's howling out the words. It's just. It doesn't have to be realistic because it's not. And then let's add the words. Okay, do I want something else on this guy? Just going with the deer. Okay. And the U. 
pretty simple. Uh, now I'm wanting a tree in behind there. Do I want a tree in behind? Yeah, I do. It's okay. It's not stuck down too far yet. Put him off to the, or him, the tree over there. Get him right close to that edge. Shouldn't be that difficult, Susan. Stick it down. There we go. Okay, so then when you fold it up, you're going to have to help it a little bit in the first few times. Now, this is definitely going to cost more through the postage, I would think. I mean, look at it, it's kind of thick. But, check it out. So, hey, mister. You are the best brother ever. And then you can put happy birthday. Yeah, I don't know. Just thinking of you, miss you, whatever, and just write your message here or up top. I love it. Okay. If you make one, I would love to see it. Share it on social media or just tag me so I can see it. I would love to. As I said before, this is part of a video hop, so be sure to leave a comment for your chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Catherine Pooler Designs shop. The next stop on the hop is in the links below. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and to click that bell to be reminded when I have new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.